Well, we made it to another one of our bucket list trips. We made it to the fish hatchery. Just gotta watch Grizzly that he doesn't jump in and try and grab one. Because the ones in this pond are rather big. One more thing off of our summer bucket list before the winter white crap comes and slaps us in the face. Where's my fishing pole? If you want to see the full underwater video of the fish and us feeding them, check out this upcoming Sunday video. Because we're going to go down towards the smaller fish hatching area, holding area. And I'll do some underwater filming over there too. So if you want to see them go nuts over food underwater, check out Sunday's video. All kinds of stuff to learn in here about how they used to raise the the trout in the late 1800s through the early 1900s. All kinds of artifacts. Used to be able to go in there. Uh -huh. All around. Wonder why you can't anymore. Oh, stupid people! I can sneak it in there. Yeah. Oh, that might be a brown right there. Oh, there. Mm -hmm. He's got the pink spots. What is that, a book? Or a brown? Yeah, I still remember. You're going to be right. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's no albinos. Yeah. There used to be albinos in that tank. different kinds. It's weird, you can't go in there anymore. Yeah. 
for years we used to be able to walk in there. Uh -huh. I don't know. Someone ruined it. All the way around. We're out here filming the fish behind me at the fish hatchery. Again, full video will be on Sunday. And we're wondering, what the heck is that? So I, I zoomed in a bit. And it turns out to be a bat house. That's cool. Because usually you see the little tiny ones like, like that one on the post sitting everywhere. But I've never seen a, a big giant one before. So that was pretty cool. That's a bigbathouse.com. And they go in the door there. Well, that's really cool. They need more of those. Lots of big ones. On the hunt of the elusive squirrel or chipmunk. Did you get it? Where'd it go? Nope, I had to go back and look again. Where's that squirrel? Where's that squirrel? There's a daisy. Did you find a squirrel pumpkin? Do a Daisy's Adventure Squirrel Edition in trip number 38. Yeah? There she is. There she is. Hey! There she is. You feel better this trip? Yeah, last trip you didn't feel so good. Okay, walk away. Good talk. Daisy! Daisy, Daisy, Daisy! You're a lot better this trip, huh? Yay! <laughs> Some alligator doing laps. Look out! Ow! <laughs> Ow. <laughs> that was on camera, too. <laughs> You lost me. That was your problem, huh? Where'd the squirrel go? Did you get this squirrel? One of these times he's gonna come back with one. I think he's faster than some of these squirrels. This is one of the reasons why you don't see very much river fishing lately. Because this used to be one of my favorite honey ho holes to come fish at. You used to be able to spot the fish, throw it out there, let it sit for a little bit, and watch them hit it from either here or here. Now, this bank used to be out there, out further. But ever since they started doing work on the other side of the tunnel, river fishing has just been a no. Because look what the color of the river is. Normally, we can see the bottom standing here. It's weird brown funk in some spots, and then some other spots it's got this weird blue tint stuff to it. That we're not sure what the hell's going on in the other side of the tunnel, so we don't even let the dogs drink it. They want to, but we're afraid to because it just might make them sick. And that's all we need is a damn sick dog because they drank the Funka water from whatever the hell is going through the tunnel. 
But yeah, that's why you haven't seen very much river fishing on my Wednesday videos. If you watch my Wednesday videos. Because that's usually just straight fishing. Here and there other stuff. Whether the fishing's good, bad, or ugly. I always show something fishing on Wednesdays. Or animals. Something funny. But yeah, I mean. Even look way down there. And the water's just weird tinted this used to be a really pretty spot i've taken pictures here and between the reflection in the water of the mountains and everything was so still pretty pristine clear that you couldn't quite tell which way was up on the picture because of the reflection in the water definitely can't get that shot again um, where we used to walk over there used to be on this side of the pine trees Definitely can't walk that way now Everything has changed so much Since they've decided to do work on the other side of the tunnel Hope they hurry up and finish by the time white crap would come, but I don't think we're gonna be able to fish the river till next spring Hopefully potentially But a little booger and that little butt gator chewing on the bush. He's such a boob. Hey, leave her alone. He goosed you, huh? How rude. Don't worry, I'll goose him later for you. Yeah, so not quite sure what else we're gonna get into. Might go try fishing at Bunny Buck Lake again because last trip. It was stupid. Whoever thought of those lights on, on the narrows on the pass is the moron. Those stoplights made us late to go fishing, so we're going to try and go a little earlier. We're going to try a different spot at Bunny Buck Lake. If you're curious what the hell I'm talking about, check out Wednesday. It'll be a fishing video. But here we go. Let's go see what else we can get stuck into. <laughs> I'm just wandering through the tall dry grass. Yeah. Go for a tummy, huh? Pain the butter gator. I'm coming, I'm coming. Rocket's getting impatient. I think I'm taking too long. I'm coming. Trust me, I'm coming. Yes, here she comes. Hopper girl. So glad you're feeling better this week. You had me worried last week. Yeah. From the last trip. You don't feel good at all. I'm coming, Rocket. I'm coming, Rocket. Get up here to these bushes. I think something's been rubbing the velvet off the antlers on these bushes. They're all rubbed and torn up all the way along here. So I think either the elk, deer, moose, something's been rubbing antlers on it. Let me get all the velvet off. Because there is fresh doodles everywhere through here. It could be Rocket's problem. We want us to stay together. I'm decided to hold. I'm coming, Rocket. It's nice to see some sort of animal. But the flow of the river has just changed so much. And who knows what fishing is going to be like next year. Because we haven't seen nary a fish throughout the whole river. Usually we can see them jumping by now. This time of day, 
Ouch. We're seeing them scurry away from us or something through the water. Not a thing. It's a little frustrating. There she is. You doing go pumpkin? Yeah, she's getting toasty, huh? It's better than being cold. So once that evil, icky ass white crap takes a hold, who knows what the winter's gonna bring. We're gonna come up as much as we can still throughout the winter, but who knows? You never know if we're gonna have to go somewhere else or change plans last minute because it's too wicked or something. Just hang on a second, I had to smell something funny. This my pretty girl. Really? Okay, catch up. The rock is throwing a tantrum at us. Go ahead. There you go, good job. Wait, go my way through. Catch up to you. Doing good, pumpkin. Oh. You'll definitely want to check out this Sunday's video. It's got some really nice fish shots from the fish hatchery. One of our bucket, bucket list things. Well, I'll bring the back if we see something cool. I wonder where the heck we're going to get stuck into next. We're trying to fish here at Bunny Buck Lake again. Same place we were last week. Just a heck of a lot earlier. So we, last time we had trouble getting here. What a picture. Freeze frame. They're jumping all over the place. Last week we were trying to fish off the dam right there. And this is their little goober grape. It's feeling a lot, but ten times better today than the last trip, huh? Yeah. Okay. That little goober I had wrapped up in a blanket up there. And she about walked off the edge. The 12 foot drop or so. And she felt like crap that day. But you better today. Red booger. Daisy. Okay, good talk. Nice if someone caught something, that'd be really awesome. Really pretty lake. And it's silent here. And there is a bird right behind me. I don't know what the heck kind of bird it is. There's two. Yeah, there was two. He said, you're getting too close. That was interesting. Stop. What? Yeah, I wonder what other wildlife is going to come towards us. If you want to see the full fishing video again, check out Wednesday. Wednesday's always fishing. Good, bad, or ugly, I show the TFA of fishing. Rude.
And that's what's left of the moon. The moon is literally chasing the sun. Good night, Moon.